Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. Today we'll see what is anonymous data set in BigQuery. Believe me, everybody have used this anonymous data set without our, our awareness. So let's get into the demonstration. Before we go into the demonstration, just wanted to show you one important concept. So whenever you run any query in BigQuery, by default, it would be cached for 24 hours. There are certain exceptions, uh, so you can look into the exceptions. I'll put the link in the description. Now, let's get into the demonstration to understand what are anonymous data set. So for that, I'm in my BigQuery console. So this is a query, which is a very standard query. Uh, we're querying a Wikipedia benchmark, which is having almost like 10 million records. So very smart, BigQuery is very smart. When I just put the query, it shows almost like 380 80 MB of data is going to be processed. So let me click on run and it will take good amount of time less than few I guess less than a minute it should be taking. Yes, it has come up very fast. It shows like uh, 1.6 seconds it has processed this amount of data right and everybody is aware if I going to run if I'm going to run this query again it's going to be coming from cache, right? Let's just verify this. So keep an eye on this number, 1.1 seconds. So now if I do it, it should show me zero seconds. Uh, not big deal. We know that uh, people who are working with BigQuery day in, day out know that this is going to be from the cache. Now, usually when we are in front of the customer, what we'll do is uh, to show that BigQuery really rocks. It really rocks. Everybody accepts that usually they uncheck it and do it, right? This is a standard procedure. Now, what I'm going to do is, we understood when you run a query, it is going to be cached. First time when you run it, it's going to execute it. It's going to process that amount of data, like 380 MB of data. But second time when you run it, it's going to be from the cache. Now, if you go deeper into that, where is the cache stored, all those details, you will understand why it is stored for 24 hours and if you scroll down bottom you will understand what is a anonymous data set let's get ex let's explore that so for that i'm going to click on the query history and i am the owner of this project so i'm just going to hide this i'm the owner of the project and if i see this at 10:24 time so the time at india is 10:24 now if i expand the first one you will see how much of data was processed, how much I'm built, and this is the most important thing, temporary table. This is the important thing. Now, if there's a hyperlink to it, this is the beauty of GCP. So it makes it very, very simple. So if you just click on it, it will take you to a table. So this is the important part. So it this is your uh, anonymous, you see this? Anonymous. And if I click on the details, you will know this table. This is the table which is trying to explore, which it, it is trying to rely on. So the most important thing here is it was created at 10.24 p.m. And it's going to expire at 10.24 tomorrow. So exactly the one which you see in the documentation approximately for 24 hours makes more sense right you can see that what's really happening now if i click on the preview it's going to show me the same number which we were seeing now this was the main reason whenever you were running it second time it was relying on this table and getting the result so that was the thing now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete this table so it's a very big table i'm just going to copy this delete it now, if I go back to my query history, now I'm going to run the same query, which previously was running it from cache. You will see expired. Previously did not show that. Maybe if you go back to the previous one, it was previously having a link. Now it is showing expired temporary table. What it means in very, very simple terms is if I open this in the query editor, it shows there's no, no data in the temporary table. Now, 
when i run this it is literally going to be running from the scratch meaning it's as if like i have disabled the the cache so let's run it and verify this and we know it should be taking very short time yes it has come up and it is coming from it's directly hitting the public data set and getting us the result now if you just wanted to verify it once again so if i just hide this you see this let me just refresh it so 1028 new data set new time we have queried once again and if you go and see a new temporary table is created if you want to verify it just check it and under the details these two metadata would be really helpful so the insight is whenever you create execute a query it gets created in a temporary table and the temporary table will be always in a anonymous data set so if you just scroll down you should see that so it is very well documented what is an anonymous data set because in BigQuery the hierarchy is always project ID followed by your data set project ID followed by your data set I don't have a data set inside a data set is where you will have your table so that's the video which I wanted to share today so what is an anonymous data set everybody used as I mentioned but today we explored one level deeper into it to understand what is a temporary table where the temporary table is stored and why any query when you send to BigQuery is always cached for 24 hours. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you for watching.